All right, so today we're going to do something a little different. We're looking at what, on the surface, seems like a pretty standard web page from a site called Engineering Laptops. But if you look closer, this one single page has all the clues we need to basically deconstruct the entire modern laptop market. It's like a puzzle, right? And we're going to solve it together. I mean, you've been there, right? We've all been there. You need a new laptop, you start searching online, and bam, you're just drowning in this sea of specs and buzzwords. It's, it's overwhelming. But what if all that confusion isn't the problem? What if it's actually a sign of something way more interesting happening in the laptop world? Okay, so here's how we're going to break it all down. First, we'll tackle the puzzle itself, then we'll dive into the tools for specialists, see what's new, and next, cover laptops for everyone else, and wrap it all up with a big picture takeaway. Let's get into it. So let's start with that big question. Why is it so ridiculously hard to find the perfect laptop? Well, the answer isn't that the laptops themselves are getting too complicated. Nope. It's that we, the people using them, have become incredibly specialized. The market isn't trying to build one laptop to rule them all anymore. It's building dozens of perfect laptops, each for a very different kind of person. And that's a perfect lead-in to our first major group of users, the specialist. I'm talking about engineers, architects, data scientists, you know, the pros. For these folks, a laptop isn't just a nice-to-have for browsing the web. It's a mission-critical professional tool, and it has some very specific demands. And this right here, this is the key to understanding everything. Think about it this way. The laptop market today isn't a Swiss army knife trying to do a mediocre job at everything. It's a pro's toolbox packed with specialized instruments where each one is designed to do one single job, but do it exceptionally well. And this chart, it breaks that whole toolbox idea down perfectly. Look, an engineer running Comsol, they need absolute raw face-melting processing power for simulations. A designer using Keyshot, for them, it's all about a super color accurate display and the horsepower to render things fast. And a GIS professional using ArcGIS Pro, they need a rock solid, reliable GPU for 3D mapping. See, every single task demands a completely different tool from the box. So for these people, a laptop is not for checking email or watching Netflix. It's a precision instrument. If there's a weak link anywhere in that hardware, it means lost time, it means lost money, and it means a whole lot of frustration. It absolutely has to be the right tool for the job. No compromises. Okay, so we've established that specialists need very specific tools. The next logical question is, what are the big companies actually building for them right now? Well, the recent news headlines on our source page give us some fascinating clues. Okay, check this out. Dell is launching a brand new super high-end AI workstation, and it's launching first with Linux. Windows support is coming later. I mean, think about that for a second. That's a huge signal. It tells you that for the really serious AI development community, the operating system is just another tool in the toolbox. And right now, Linux is the top choice for that specific job. And it's not just about the OS either. Over here, we've got Asus targeting creative professionals with an absolute beast of a machine. And what are the headline specs? Ryzen AI for powerful on-device processing and a top-of-the-line RTX 5090 GPU. This thing is pure, unadulterated power aimed like a laser at creators. So when you put all these little pieces together, some really clear trends start to pop out. There's this huge push for on-device AI. Next-generation graphics are getting even more insane. We're seeing these big strategic shifts in operating systems for enterprise users. And there's even this growing category of premium, super light machines for the pros who are always on the go. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, okay, that's cool, but I'm not an AI developer with a Linux workstation, so why does this matter to me? Well, it matters because this is where the future is being forged. The crazy tech that's going into these high-end, niche machines today, that's what's going to be standard in your everyday laptop in just a couple of years. This is the proving ground. But of course, let's be real, not everyone is running complex 3D simulations or training AI models. The source page we're looking at also shines a light on other kinds of users. So what does the toolbox look like for them? And this comparison just lays it all out, plain and simple. On one side, you have the specialist, who needs raw, unthrottled power. But on the other side, the everyday user. Their priorities are completely different. They care about reliability, a great screen for movies, and a battery that lasts all day. They don't need a sledgehammer. They need a really good, dependable screwdriver that just works. 
And then there's this other massive category we can't forget, the enterprise or business user. For a company that's buying a thousand laptops for its employees, do you think they care about gaming performance? Not a chance. For them, it's all about security, manageability, and how easily they can deploy them across the entire company. It's a completely different set of priorities. All right, so we've looked at the specialists, the bleeding edge tech, the everybody users, the business crowd. Let's take a step back and tie all of this together. What's the big takeaway here? Think about this. Just from this one single homepage, we've been able to identify at least six totally distinct user profiles. You've got your console users, your key shot artists, your GIS pros, project managers, your non-gamers, and the big enterprise IT departments. The market isn't just split into a few pieces anymore. It's shattered into all these super specific segments. And that leads us to what is probably the single most important conclusion from all of this. The age of the one-size-fits-all laptop, it's over. It's done. That's an outdated idea from a much, much simpler time in computing. So, how are you supposed to buy a laptop in this new world? Well, it's actually a pretty simple three-step process. First, be brutally honest with yourself about what your primary task is. Second, find the tool, the category of laptop that was built specifically for that job. And third, and this is the most important part, you have to learn to ignore all the noise and marketing from the other categories. They just aren't for you, and that's okay. Because at the end of the day, buying a laptop isn't just about comparing gigabytes of RAM anymore. It's really a decision about what kind of user you are. Are you a creator, a business traveler, a student just taking notes? The answer to that question is gonna point you to the right tool way more effectively than any spec sheet ever could. And that, that leaves us with a really fascinating question to chew on. If every laptop is becoming a hyper-specialized tool for a specific job, what does that mean for the future of just general, everyday computing? That's a trend we are definitely gonna be watching. Thanks for diving into this with me.